So here with Jeevan uh, in Hamilton, Ontario. Right by the Ottawa Street right. Farmer's Market. <laughs> yeah, we had a, a nice little meal here. Uh, wanted to just really briefly touch base and say that the mortgage rules have changed again. Uh, uh, not the rules, the, not the oh, rules. Oh, sorry. The not more, the rules. The yeah. qualifying rate has changed The qualifying again. rate has changed. So, yeah. So, so the qualifying rate is uh, actually a average of the five-year posted rates across our major banks here in Canada. Uh, you know, if somebody's offering you a mortgage at their posted rate, please call me. Uh, one for a medical prescription and, and two <laughs> for some real mortgage advice. But uh, what's really gone on here is is that the because of the uptick in, in posted rates on the five-year fixed, and five-year fixed rates have moved up quite a bit, uh, this was inevitable. So we've been speaking to clients for the last two weeks about you know being prepared to have your numbers ready for this. You know, what you're really losing in this situation, Justin, is about about two percent of your buying power right so you know we were running some numbers earlier today you know old-fashioned ratios of 35 42 right uh, you know people somebody that makes 150 grand uh, as a family would now qualify for a mortgage of 580 instead of 600 right now that's again basic qualifications there's still many ways to to try and maximize those numbers but the point is is that when you go to the 590 uh, from 590 to 580, you've lost about 2% of your purchasing power. Right. So realistically speaking, you've lost about 2% of your purchasing power today. Right. Well, that's interesting. And really, we see that probably going to drive prices even further down. So yeah, so it, I, I completely agree with you there. You know, unfortunately, seller expectations are usually set by their realtor. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people aren't being realistic with the people that they're dealing with and, and helping them understand that this is not last year's market. It's not the market that we've had for basically the last eight years. Mm -hmm. uh, this is a, it's moving to a buyer's market. Things are sitting a lot longer. And you know, even as somebody looking for a home myself, you know that I'm, I'm consistently questioning the asking price mm -hmm. because is it going to be worth this two weeks from now? Right. Uh, mm -hmm. And, you know, because we're buying and selling in the same market, we're cognizant of it because I just lost 2% of my purchasing power. Right. Right. Uh, and being a fairly normal Canadian with normal incomes and, and normal family debts, uh, these are things that will drive down prices. And, and one thing happens, either people lower their expectations or sellers lower their price. And I've never met a person that lowered their expectation <laughs> never that's <laughs> funny all right so long story short we're losing approximately two percent of our purchasing power but i guess the bottom line is get with this guy or your your professional that you use but basically this guy's the only guy you should be using i appreciate that. <laughs> and and get yourself requalified right now because your numbers have changed as of yesterday yeah and you know the one thing i caution people about is is that even if you've given been given a pre-approval by your bank uh if you're in a cmhc insured deal that pre-approval means nothing right now it's mm -hmm. only a rate hold device right. cmhc does not underwrite pre-approvals right. so those are bank rate holds and that bank is going to have to qualify you at the higher amount I don't care what your banker tells you. Right. Uh, that is the case. Now, again, a lot of people don't buy at the absolute edge of their right. of their qualification. But the point is, is that some people do. And mm -hmm. for those people that are maxing out in those situations, again, it's not an affordability issue because you're paying a rate of less than half right. of what you're actually being qualified on. But the point is, is that you have to be prepared for that. Right. Right. So we're good. I love it. Have, have fun. Enjoy Always your day. Always a pleasure. All right. Happy home buying. <laughs> See you. Bye. Cheers. <laughs>